I'm here at Christ Church College at the University of Oxford in Britain. I'm here for summer school, but I also want to make a very important point about video journalism, uh, iPhone video, smartphone video, and uh, this magnificent institution. Uh, behind me is the library here at Christ Church, and it has tens of thousands of volumes of books in it. Those books represent the cumulative work of 500 years of human endeavor unleashed by the invention of the printing press. The printing press made it possible for anyone with an idea to write and publish any idea they had in their head. This is a really critical point. And so there's a wealth of knowledge here that represent individual people's point of view. Their passion, their desire to communicate their ideas to the rest of the world took nothing more really than a, a pen or a quill and a piece of paper or a piece of parchment married to a printing press. The world of television is terrible. It's an intellectual desert compared to what exists here. And the reason for that is that anything on television up until now required a production company, a cable company, the approval of some cable executive before the content could be made and shared with the world. If this library was run the way we run cable television or broadcast television in America, there would be almost nothing here because it would require a, the, the books instead of being written by authors would be produced by a production company and you would need the approval of some executive before you were allowed to even begin to write the book. That is terrible and that is why television is such an intellectual wasteland but it doesn't have to be that way anymore. What the printing press did for writing 500 years ago which allowed all of this to happen now, small iPhones and smartphone videos <coughs> will do for television and video because the smartphone, the iPhone, is the Gutenberg's printing press of video and television. It puts the power and the ability to create content in the hands of individuals, not production companies, not producers, not directors. You don't need that anymore. If you have an idea and you want to write a book, you sit down and you simply write the book. And if you're lucky, it ends up here. If you have an idea now for a film or a television program or a documentary, you don't need budgets, you don't need a network, you don't need directors, you don't need producers. All you need is an iPhone and an idea. And that, that is the essence of the VJ or Mojo revolution. It's an explosion in intellectual content the way the Enlightenment and an explosion in intellectual content took place here 500 years ago. But now we're going to do it with television and video. And it's up to you to participate. Embrace the content. It's more than just breaking news. It's more than a simple way to make news stories. It's a revolution, an intellectual revolution in content and distribution.